Hello, party people. Today, um, oh, look at this big pimple I had on my head earlier. I had a, oh, <clears throat> there it goes. Got it off again. All right, that's enough with me being stupid. Um, well, probably not. If you watch my channel, you know, there's probably more to come. Um, today's shave, we are going to be using Watercolor Coastline by 345 Soap Company. If any of y'all watch my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of 345 Soap Company. Um, the scent on this is just phenomenal. Uh, absolutely love this scent. Um, John really knocked it out of the park on this one. And this one is his um, Trinity Base. I think that's what he calls it, Trinity Base. Um, it's really a shame that... Um, he couldn't have called it Chupacabra base because that would have been awesome. But Shannon Soaps laid claim to that one. Um, but Watercolor Coastline with the Trinity base. Um, and that's because it has donkey milk, camel milk, and goat milk in it. So there's your three milks. Um, scent notes on this, I do not remember. Um, but it is absolutely fantastic. Um, also have the Splishity Splash for it. Um... Today's bowl is going to be the Capitan's Choice HD Copper Bowl. Look at that lather. Um, as usual, um, 345 delivers. Um, there's no doubt about this. Um, this took, uh, let me see, 5, 10, 15, 23 mLs of water um, for this to get it this just delicious. Um, could have added more water to it. Easily could have taken it, uh, but why? Oh, and the brush, in case you didn't notice, because I didn't say, was my Smiles for Miles um, Blue Hybrid brush. Um, and to me, this just goes so good with the Watercolors Coastline. This has an AP Shave Co. Whatever that knot's called. Um, Sinbad knot is what it has in it. Today's blade will be a new um, Dorco Prime. Today's razor is doo -doo -doo -doo, the new and arrived Blackland Era. This is plate five up and comb. Um, Sorry, John Patton was just messaging me because I sent him a picture of my shave of the day. Uh, with the Plate 5 open comb, as you can see there, there's very little blade exposure um, sticking up from under the cap there. Um, blade gap on the 0.5 looks like it might be slightly positive. Um, hard to tell, but we shall see. Next time you see this razor, there's a very good chance that it will be polished. But you never know. Um, you know, I was so against um, synthetic brushes uh, for the longest time. But I've got to say, um, because, and that's partly because I hadn't found a knot that I liked. The Sinbad knot from AP Shave Co. and the Cashmere knot are two of the best knots I've ever used. The next one behind that is going to be the Alpha, um, his G4 um, knot. I've never tried the G5, um, but that's partially because I'm not spending the money for a Badger knot on a synthetic knot. To me, that's just ridiculous. Um... So there we go. Lather on this is just a true delight to make. John Soaps whip up a lather so easily. Um, I forgot to, to make it. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot to make my video last night. So this is Saturday morning. I will post this today. Then later on, I may actually, if I have enough soap left, may end the video, 
be started and do a head shave video for tomorrow. We shall see. Um, but let's... Yeah. All right, um, let's get on with this shave, see how this feels. I have been looking forward to this. Um, You know, Blackland made this as the every man's razor because they didn't really have an affordable option um, for razors. I think their cheapest razor started starts at maybe 180, 160, something like that. It's well over a hundred dollars. But for a all stainless steel CNC machined made in America razor, that's what you're going to pay nowadays. Um, and so he came up with a cheaper offering. I thought this was supposed to come with rubber bands to give you more grip in there. Uh, maybe you have to order those. My box didn't have it in it. No big deal. Um, I wouldn't use them anyways. Um, I say rubber bands, but they were actually black O-rings. Um, but so far, um, off of less than half of a side of my face. Um, I have to say that this is a absolute winner. Um, you know, what's cool with this being the first um, razor also, um, of its type that uses both CNC machining and um, 3D uh, metal. Printing. Uh -oh. It's super cool. I honestly think that if Shane over at Blackland um, opened his books up um, to show us what he spent on developing and all the prototypes and everything on this, um, I would have to think that He is in the hole pretty deep on this razor. Um, it sold out right away, so. Um, so kudos on that. Um, but I believe this is gonna be a staple razor on his website from now on. Um, but I have got to say that plate five open comb um, is right up my alley. To me, it has um, just almost a perfect amount of blade feel. It could use a little more for my liking, but can't complain about it at all. Um, so far, I have not found anything to complain about uh, with this razor. Um, The only razor on the market similar to this was the Carve razor, and that came in brass. This being offered in stainless steel, 
is still cheaper than the brass carve. $75 for one plate, the top cap and the handle. That is insane. Now, I don't know if, um, I believe Shane is his name at Blackland. Um, I don't know if he has any plans in the future. Um, I'm sure he'll start getting requests um, by those of us in the hobby that are... Um, Just die hard wet shavers. Um, someone's going to end up requesting a more aggressive plate. It's just a matter of time. Um, so we shall see with that. Um, you know, that's what's happened with Carve. Originally, they only offered, you know, X amount of plates, and now they go EFG. Um, we can go E, F, and G plate now. Um, unless you're my buddy Wayne. Um, Wayne invented a W plate. Um, on an accident. Um, And I believe it was with the, I think the G plate is their most aggressive plate. I can't remember if he did it with the E plate, F plate, or G plate, but one of them. Anyways, he got in a hurry putting it together and put something, I can't remember if he put the wash, the spacer under here, the little washer up under the blade or what, but he did something, but it raised the blade up and he would comment it to me. He was like, wow, that blade has like, the blade got difference between the last plate and this plate is like insane. And he was like, wow. And then he messaged me back and I was like, oh, he's like, well, I invented a, my, a W plate because of what he'd done. He had made the, the blade gap so huge. Um, and so we were kind of joking about that. Um, but the blade clamping on this is um, phenomenal. Um, the blade clamping on this is um, Superb. You don't get any blade chatter. Um, you can actually feel the clamping on the blade um, when you shave with it because it makes that blade feel so much more rigid. Which to me is good. Um, me good blade clamping like this um, goes hand in hand with less irritation and I'm one that gets irritation real easily on my neck um, I think that's most people's trouble spots um, but so far um, not a thing bad. I can't complain anything about that razor. Um, the handle does remind me of uh, the handle for the Sabre, uh, or some people try to call it the Sabre, but I'm fancy, so I call it the Sabre. Um, very similar in shape. The lines are a little different here versus here. Um, so yeah, it may be the same length, I don't know, but 
I cannot complain about that. I may actually order um, some of the lower plates um, and see how that will be for a head shaving razor. Um, but right now, plate five on the face is spot on perfect, especially paired with a Dorco Prime. Um, we all know how different blade pairings could change the feeling of a razor, um, sometimes very, very significantly, um, and other times it seems like it doesn't do too much. But let me get all this cleaned up and uh, I'll be back with you. Capitan's Choice HD Copper Bowl. For the face, we use the Blackland Era Level 5 Open Comb. Oh. If you did not get one of these um, on the pre-order, um, excellent razor. Um, really, really impressed by how good it feels. Um, then we use the um, some making required hybrid brush here uh, with a AP Shave Co. Uh, Sinbad Knot. And then the star of the show was the 345 Soap Company Watercolor Coastline. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, if you haven't tried 345 Soap, I highly recommend it. Great bang for your buck. John Patton's a great human. Um, so I support him and his company. Um, then we're going to finish it off with some splishity. What? Splash. That's right. Okay. So we're going to bloop, 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 like that. And then we're going to need one. That wasn't enough. Um, absolutely love the scent of this. This is definitely one that I could wear as a cologne or whatever. Um, just beautiful. But that's it for the face shave today. Um, thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Tomorrow's shave, tomorrow's video is going to be the same video, but on a head shave. Um, but I will be using a different razor, the DLC, Lupo DLC for the nugget. So with that, I would like to say, be kind to one another, love one another, take care, be safe, and most importantly, God bless.